Welcome Fresno City College students. We're so excited that you're here with us today. As you can see, we've got a whole team ready to talk to you about all of our programs in our ACL pathway. So my name is Tabitha Vialba. I'm the Dean of Humanities. It's really nice to meet all of you. Um, I'd like to start by introducing um, Marisol Baca, who is our Fresno Poet Laureate and who is also a, an English faculty member here at Fresno City College. And um, she will be reading us a poem and then she will be um, followed by Dr. Kevin Cooper, who is a faculty member in our Fine and Performing Communication Arts Division. So Marisol, I will let you start with, um, with a poem. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for inviting me to read a poem. Um, yeah, I'm uh, the 2021 um, Fresno Poet Laureate, uh, and I teach at Fresno City College. I teach for the English department. I teach poetry. I teach literature. I teach composition. I teach all of the classes for English. And I'm going to read a poem that I wrote specifically for um, Fresno City College a couple of years ago, and it's called The Dreamers, We Dreamers. And the poem is dedicated to all of the um, immigrant students that are coming in, um, the dreamer students, and also all of the students at Fresno City College. Um, obviously, the goals um, that we set for ourselves and the dreams that we set for ourselves. So I wrote this poem for that. We dreamers. We are the dream and we are the words of that dream. When all falls away, we are the dreamer who grows into the light, unfolding dreamers like flowers and trees. We ask you, come close, listen, hear this. From the United States, y el otro lado. Dream begins in the root. We do not sever the root from the tree. We are the root and the hand. We are the song and the voice. We, dreamers, we. We friend, mother, we father, child, we teacher and sister and brother. We are the dream in the home. We are the dream in the classroom. We are the dream in the world. We are the dream working out of the shadows. Now I see, I say, yes, I can. I can, we say, yes, I am. I am, and that is enough. I am, and that is more than enough. I am. When all falls away, we are the dreamer who grows into the light. Unfolded dreams, we are birds in the trees. We ask you, come close, listen, hear this, bear witness. We are dream, do not ignore us. We are life in that dream. Thank you for letting me read this poem and welcome to FCC. I chose this piece by the great Mexican composer Manuel Ponce to accompany Professor Baca's poem.
absolutely beautiful, Kevin. And, and students can learn how to play like that after just one class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Take guitar <laughs> class or any music class. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cindy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm the other dean in this pathway, um, the Dean of Fine Performing and Communication Arts. And we're so excited to have you all here and share some of our amazing faculty with you. Um, this is just an exceptional pathway because there's so much opportunity to engage with amazing professors. So we're just hoping to share a little bit of that with you today. So you're excited to join us in the next couple of weeks. Okay, um, my name is Melissa. I'm from Counseling, um, and I'm one of the team leads here for our Arts Communication and Language Pathway team. Um, and what I wanna do first is um, introduce and allow everyone that's here that uh, represents our faculty um, to introduce themselves and the programs that they are representing today. So should I go first since I'm at the top of the list? Yes, go for it. Excellent. I'm Brooke Aiello, and I am representing uh, theater, the theater arts uh, here at Fresno City College for you today. And I, I'm going to have a chance to tell you more about all the awesome options that we are offering and pioneering new theater in new ways. Um, I think that's if there's a silver lining about our current situation, it's that theater, which is an ancient, ancient art, is experiencing new ways of doing things that have never been attempted before. And that's really exciting. Awesome. Um, my name is Marisol Baca. I, I just talked to you guys, or I just read a poem to you. And that's one of the things that um, we have to offer um, at Fresno City College, um, among many other English um, uh, uh, course listings, um, composition, uh, like I said, um, in literature, uh, creative writing, all sorts of different um, uh, course listings. And um, I'm just an English faculty here, so just, but I'm an English faculty here and I teach poetry. Um, but there is also uh, course listings for fiction if you want to learn how to write uh, for creative writing. There's also nonfiction and then um, literature courses, of course, as well. I'm Dr. Kevin Cooper, and I'm the chair of the music program. And we also have a variety of classes that you could uh, enjoy. And uh, that ranges from jazz and choral to, of course, guitar, piano, and literally just, just about everything. Um, so I encourage you to, to take one of these. Everyone has to fulfill GE Humanities. Um, and uh, everyone needs a creative outlet, so why not choose music? We're uh, taking advantage of the situation um, where we're all online. The entire globe is online, so why not reach out to the globe? So the choir is going to be collaborating with some uh, musicians in Africa, and I'm trying to reach out to some in Mexico so that we can all uh, take advantage of this unusual circumstance. Hi, I'm uh, Eric Fletcher. I'm the uh, forensics coach, and that includes uh, uh, debate, public speaking, interpretation events. And um, while this is a, a tough time for all of us, we're kind of excited because we, uh, we are going to have a full competitive season this year. We're going to be offering a, 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 a tournaments um, that will have students from all over the globe in them in a virtual environment. And um, we're, we're excited that we're getting that ball rolling. And it looks like all of our organizations are going to be a part of that. Um, and um, I'm excited to be here. This is uh, um, um, just a, a great experience to see. And thank you for being here. Hola, uh, 
Um, my name is Nereida Morut, and I teach Spanish in Fresno City College. I've been here for more than 20 years. Um, I'm representing foreign languages, so Spanish is our main language that we teach in Fresno City College, but you also can uh, take, be adventurous and take French or Armenian or uh, ASL, American Sign Language, and you can take Chinese, Japanese, and um, Tabitha, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> yeah, Hmong, German. Hmong, Hmong, exactly. So you can take all those languages and just be a world, uh, a world leader if you want, or you know, world connoisseur. Uh, 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 learn about the culture, not only the language, but also the culture, the music of those countries that where they speak uh, the languages. Um, so welcome, bienvenidos. And uh, if you have any questions at the end, please ask. Uh, we have several degrees that you can uh, follow with the guided pathways. Uh, just ask us about it. Thank you. Gracias. Hello, everybody. I'm Crystal Tiscareno, dance faculty here at City College. Excited to be with you guys. Um, we've got some really exciting things in dance department where we've learned how to connect with you through internet. And uh, our classes are going to be really exciting, I think. I know I'm really thinking outside of the box with my classes. And um, for the performance class in particular, I think it's gonna really take a really neat approach. It's gonna have like a film idea and how do you, the viewer like, oh, I like how they did that on Site the Union Dance. We're thinking big picture here. Like how do you put dance on, on film or um, in front of a camera? So that's really exciting. And during this time, I wanna encourage students to realize how important it is to have some physical aspect to their um, well-being right now. And uh, it's still a sense of community. So I think we're gonna do some really, um, have some wonderful, um, just connection and something more for your spirit and your soul. It's not just about being physical, it's about healing and being well-balanced as an individual. So I'm really encouraging students to take that PE credit with their dance movement and, um, and join us I know, in the arts program. I think we're all thinking outside the box and doing some great things. So. Thanks. Hi, uh, I am Rhea Williams. I am English faculty and department co-chair. I'm so glad to see so many students here. Um, I know we all have so much to write about and process and English is the perfect place to do that kind of processing. There's so many classes and so many great instructors. We do a lot with the local community and reading events and book signings and book releases. Um, so if you're interested in anything in terms of composition, just processing thoughts and becoming a better thinker and a better writer, English is just a great place to be to support that writing in any type of form. Thank you. Um, for student services, there are a few of us here representing um, different areas. So for example, I'm representing um, a counseling, um, but we're going to touch on that a little bit later. Um, and so as we continue on, what I wanted to do is kind of define what is a pathway. Um, essentially think about ours as being the one for um, creativity. Okay, so the visual on the screen on our campus, there's five pathways. What we belong to is arts, communication, and language. Again, these are, um, you know, as our faculty have, have already talked about, these are our creative writers, these are our instrumentalists, our singers, our dancers, um, students that are pursuing, um, you know, foreign languages. So if you, if you th really think about it, if you want to consider us as a creative group, please do. Um, this is really the team that's going to represent you here. Um, and, you know, like many have already said in these new times that we're living in, having a creative outlet is very good for health all around. And if you can um, incorporate that into your studies and pursue um, an interest and in your passion through this pathway, we are here to help you. This is our, our function is to help you. Okay, so what is a pathway? Um, it's, it's really the branch of the, of the school that you belong to. Arts communication language is what you'll hear, um, but really it's, it's, it's about um, getting your creative interests and your passions um, into your academics. Okay, and I'm going to just, in a nutshell, try to explain what, um, what our 
associate degree path is and what our associate degree to transfer path is. So as you can see on the screen, we offer quite a few um, associate of arts, associate of um, science and associate degree to transfer degrees. Um, and I'll let you read that sort of while I'm talking about it, what the differences are. And I truly wish they had this when I was a student because I was all over the place. So it's great that there's a pathway for you to follow. It's a, it's a very clear um, course sequence that you need to take. And um, so that by the time you are out of here, at leaving Fresno City College, you know exactly what you're doing, exactly where you're going, and you've got everything you need to transfer or to complete your degree and find employment. So an Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees, those are two-year degrees. Um, you need 60 units to earn a degree. Um, you have to complete both your, your general education and your major requirements. These are good if you are not quite sure if you're ready to transfer yet, or maybe you would like to find employment after, after um, receiving a two-year degree. Completion is always a good thing that is good on a transcript that you have completed your degree. So we encourage students that they don't quite know if they want to transfer to go ahead and get the associates um, of arts or science degrees. So you've got something on your transcript. You hold that degree in your hand. An associate degree to transfer, um, our associate of arts to transfer or an associate of science to transfer. These are what we call agree with a guarantee. So it's a clear pathway to the um, California um, university system, the our CSU system, um, and it basically, you, you still complete the 60 units. Um, you have to complete the remaining 60 units at one of one of the many CSUs that we have here in California. Um, you get priority admission to CSUs that, um, and you get to major in something, either your exact major or something similar to your, to your major. Um, there's no guarantee about a specific major or a campus, but you are guaranteed transfer to one of the many CSU um, Camp, uh, campuses in our college system. So in a nutshell, that's, those, are, those are the options that we have for you and the counselors will, will um, definitely assist you in making sure you're on the right path to um, completion. So these are our certificates that you can earn within the pathway. A good way to think of these is almost a stepping stone to that degree that um, Tabitha just spoke about. So along the way, you can have something on your resume or your transcript saying that you completed a certificate, which might help you find employment and those sorts of things while you're still working towards your educational goals. Some folks just want to come in and earn a certificate to learn a few skills for their job or um, whatever it is they're working on, and that's another option for the certificate. It kind of goes along with what Tabitha was just talking about. It's a, a bird in the hand, right? That you've earned something and you have something, and when you have a milestone in your education, nobody can take it away from you. I remember I w I'm a community college graduate, and I said, I don't need to earn an associate's degree. I'm, I'm going to earn a BA. And my counselor said, you never know what life is gonna throw your way get what you can now because you're here. And it was just a few more units, so I did it. Um, so I just, we encourage you to earn all of your certi certifications along the way through your educational path. You'll never regret it. So, what is a pathway team? So a pathway team, you've met all of the faculty that are part of your pathway. You know, you, you've seen the different majors that belong, but what's a pathway? So we take all of those faculty and the deans and the instructional folks, and we add in um, student services. So those are counselors, or maybe they're people like me who are in outreach. Uh, people like Tom who are working in EOPS, um, we all work together along with instruction to make sure that not only you're doing well in your classes, but you're meeting your goals. You know, we want to get you towards whatever your educational goal is, whether that's getting a degree or transferring on, that's our goal. So together as a team, we're working on making sure that you're meeting with a counselor or that you're preparing to graduate. Um, and so that partnership is really all about you guys. So again, my name is Emily Slater. I'm so excited to see you guys. I work in college relations um, which is for new students, so I'm happy to see you here today. Um, but I was also a communication major 
with an emphasis in theater and performance. So you're my people, and I'm so excited to work with you guys. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to Farouz next, and she's gonna um, introduce some of the counselors that we have here today. I start with introducing myself first. Uh, I've been here for at Fresno City College for 20 whole years, and I have worked with students such as yourself and help them to find their way, uh, choose their uh, major, the college or university that they want to transfer to and help them successfully to reach their goals. You guys are in a very exciting time right now because you are the first group that start college in virtual world. I can only imagine that how you are going to talk about your experience with your children and the future uh, generation. It is an exciting time, yet it is um, um, anxiety. Uh, it brings some anxiety to you too. So what I want you to do uh, and to know is that we are here to help you. We have nine beautiful uh, professional counselors that they are there to help you every step of the way. Um, Evie Contreras is a wonderful counselor who provides you with um, a lot of knowledge, a lot of care. Um, Carly Berry, Berry is another counselor. She is wonderful. She's very kind and very knowledgeable. Leah Moa is also a counselor that works with you and also provides you with uh, accurate information. Uh, Jennifer Page Smith is the next one. Uh, uh, you will enjoy working with her. Pat Boyer is the counselor who works with Ponte. So if you, are, uh, if you belong to that group, please do uh, contact her. Then uh, Clark Laura Richards is with a Transfer Center. Uh, Samara Sandy, she is also a wonderful full-time counselor. And then we have Kalisha uh, Spomer. So she's going to also help you. And all of these, have, uh, all these uh, counselors have wealth of knowledge. So welcome to college. Don't forget to utilize our help, our uh, knowledge to get you on your way. All right, so how to reach us, how to reach your pathway team. Um, it could be any number of ways, but um, outside of the classroom, so if you're not emailing your instructor or talking to them through Canvas, um, you can reach your counseling team by going to our website. Um, and the FresnoCityCollege.edu website is from the homepage. You can simply do a search for counseling, um, or you can do a forward slash counseling to, to get to us. Again, we're living remotely, so it's all going to be done like this, Zoom appointments. So it will be very similar to what you're seeing here. We also have, um, in the making, we have an ACL Pathway Canvas page, ACL being the abbreviation for our group, Arts, Communication, and Language. Um, and so again, that's still um, being worked on, but once that's up and running, um, and you know, by then, everyone here, all, all of you students will be very familiar with Canvas. Um, social media, so Facebook, we have a few um, uh, pages, uh, Music at City, FCC Theater Arts and Dance, and Ram Mind Debate. We also have um, a, a general uh, Fresno City College Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We're all over the place. If you just search Fresno City, all of these things will come up. So if you've got your phone, just add us. Add us today. It'll be the easiest thing you'll ever do. Um, but this is the easiest way to reach us. And again, of course, you can reach your instructors um, through email and through their campus. OK. The specific time that you can meet with me, with um, um, Evie, is on Wednesday. We can Zoom and have coffee together. And unfortunately, I cannot treat you to a coffee, but we can have our own coffee and drink it together. You are free to ask any question, any concern, any um, barriers that you feel that you have, and we try to uh, 
uh, help you out and uh, walk with you through any kind of uh, difficulties to make the college experience more pleasant and help you to reach your goal. Okay. Um, as you know, and I can feel uh, your uh, feelings and your anxieties about, oh, if I miss this or what I'm going to do about that, we have provided you many ways to get help and connect with us. Extreme registration is one of them. So don't miss that. Extreme registration is widely advertised and especially tomorrow we have the extreme registration. We work from 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock um, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. to uh, address all your concerns and help you to get to your classes and start your semester on this Monday very successfully. Then um, Transfer Center, um, all the counselors are available. EOPNS um, is another service that um, you may want to um, find out about it, uh, especially if you are the first generation students then we also have other programs. Make sure you talk about it, you ask about it, and you find out about the services that we offer. Uh, I work every day, eight to four. Uh, you can uh, contact me. Again, my name is Farooz. Evie is there, and the other seven counselors that I named for you. Also, if you can find any of nine on any of uh, us, the nine counselors that we are specifically working with you, other counselors are also help, helpful and will help uh, you. We do have a service of virtual Q&A online, so make sure to utilize that service. So as you see, you have many, many ways to get the information that you need and you want. Just don't hesitate. You just have to take it upon yourself to utilize all the services that we are offering for you to succeed, to, to succeed. Um, this is your college time. This is the best time of your life. It was the best time in my life. You can do, um, you can get involved. You can go to city dance, theater production and film. Uh, we have all these things, concert and ensembles, a choir, forensics, uh, rampage, student art exhibit. Um, do get involved. Uh, don't sit back. Uh, enjoy yourself. You will learn with uh, every step that you take and every involvement that you have. And as the deans were telling you, all these involvement also can show up on your resume and make your resume so much stronger uh, in addition to personal development that you uh, explore yourself. What is it that you really are capable of doing, enjoy doing, and how you can be uh, uh, part of this society and uh, the community of Fresno City College. Get involved, we have a lot to offer. And I would like to, Oh, go ahead, Tabitha. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, we might want the, to have the, some of the faculty are involved in these um, productions and these um, activities. So they might want to highlight um, some of what's on the list, um, what it is and how students can get involved. So any one of you can jump in, like our faculty that are on the line. Well, uh, unless City Dance wants to go first because they're, they're at the top of the page, I'll jump in. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, so I just, uh, I, I know that the theater productions are gonna look different because they're not gonna be in that big theater, but I think, uh, I can't emphasize enough how exciting these opportunities are for you to work with the seasoned professionals that are in the theater department to create new things and to break new ground together. And that's one of the most unique things about going to a city college is because because the, the classes are smaller, you tend to get such a, um, a more intimate kind of experience with your professors that allow you to uh, really 
make a lot of quick strides in your art. And I think that in addition to the great classes, there's so many opportunities to work on Zoom plays and writing for new uh, Zoom eras and how do you stage old plays and this whole conversation around are old plays even worth staging anymore? And um, I really encourage everybody to just, just jump in, audition for those productions audition for the student-led productions. There's um, a new thing of the uh, screenwriting class has popped up that I just saw. So get in a screenwriting class and see what happens. And who knows what sort of production opportunities will come for that because there's so much going on, uh, especially in all of these areas, but especially uh, in theater. Uh, so come on down, audition for a play. And with that, I think um, I'd like to say um, what we're doing right now is a collaboration. It's all about collaboration. And um, some of the things that we do at FCC for English, for um, with theater, we do collaborations between quite a few different things. Um, and I know like with the visual arts, um, there's been readings and um, uh, I've collaborated and students have collaborated um, within English, so creative writing, English, um, with visual arts, um, as well as music. I know there's a lot of collaboration going on. There's also a lot of stuff that happens with writing. So um, I know the library puts on um, uh, poetry slams. Um, we do all sorts of different uh, kind of collaborative work. Um, and I think that that's pretty important, especially right now, because it helps to bring people together and make you feel a little less um, kind of in a bubble. Um, and um, so, yeah, I also encourage you definitely reach out and 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 have the word collaboration in your mind because um, uh, that's going to get you a little bit more involved in uh, on the campus um, in a way that we've never been involved before. There's going to be a lot of really neat stuff. Yeah, I would like to um, jump on that. Um, Marcel. We, um, in the dance department too, there's going to have, there's a lot of collaboration. Like already I'm working on a piece that has to do with poetry and um, when the students are already thinking about you know, there are friends who are in the music departments who can make some live music for them. We are, um, this opportunity for students is just amazing, actually. At first, you're like, what? But then when you start thinking about the things that you're going to learn and the people you're going to work with and um, being forced outside of the box is creating um, a whole new learning curve for, uh, for the teachers and for the students. And I think we're going to come up with some of our best work this year. So for me, I... I'm telling my students, if you're not a part of this, I know it doesn't look the same, but you're going to miss out because I think that the, the, um, what we're going to generate as artists and as um, students who are under the home of your professors is going to be just super exciting and it's going to change the way we um, see art in the future and um, especially the, all of them, all the arts. And I think um, you want to be a part of this. This is the beginning of the wheel turning and wonderful things happening and things will not look the same. They're going to change and we're a part of that. And so um, I'm super excited. So, you know, don't be afraid. And for any of the arts, right, jump in, jump in. So that's my spot. Um, I, I think I'd we have a, uh, oh, go ahead, Eric. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, um, uh, um, as far as forensics goes, too, I'd like to, you know, kind of just give the gist that what we're trying to do this year, especially, is create a co-community, I guess I'd like to call it, where we're going to be offering a lot of Zoom lab seminar hours where we just kind of get together and discuss and work on whatever events we're doing, whether it's debate, oral interpretation, public speaking, but we also just um, have opened up a space for students to come work on anything that they're doing in the arts and humanities and other classes because we have a um, lot, we have grad assistants, there's faculty members that are a part of this, just to come and, and you know, apply what we're doing and whatever it is, activity or event that we're working on and just, just create a community for you to come. It's, it's, this is a tough time, especially with social distancing, just to get be a part of something and we have, 20 to 30 hours a week sometimes where we, you have the opportunity spread out to come in and discuss ideas, work on whatever it is you're working on. 
And, you know, our program is designed around experience and participation, and you kind of learn by doing. So if you have any questions, Ram and Debate is a good place to start on Facebook, or you can reach out and find us, and we have links as well in Canvas. So I think all the arts, but uh, I'd like to speak towards music since that's my field, is an antidote to the isolation that we feel uh, during this time. So if you want to have a semblance of connection to other people, to your peers, I do see you out there, students, uh, a few of you, um, and, I, and I just encourage you to go ahead and um, I, I love the suggestion on this slide, whoever put the PowerPoint together of choir, that's because that's such an open door for anyone, whether you've got a lot of skill or you've got no skill, you can just hop in and uh, enjoy some great uh, music making. And uh, if, if singing is not your main thing, uh, it doesn't matter because that will enhance whatever is. So if you're actually a pianist or a guitarist, so, so I think that's great. But of course, if you wanna join guitar class or piano class, jazz class, we even have an online opera that's happening. And what an opportunity. You're not gonna be able to audition for any other opera if you have no experience. But this one, <laughs> I guarantee you've got a spot. So uh, take advantage, Mozart's Magic Flute. Um, so, so yeah, I think, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna oversell it. The electricity of physically being together and making music with people is irreplaceable. But we have found creative ways to mitigate that deficit. And we're becoming experts at some software that can um, take all of your individual jigsaw pieces and put them together into a pretty cool uh, digital result. So, um, so yeah, like, uh, like Ms. Tiscoreno said, like be a part of it, don't miss this. to be in the magic flu that sounds awesome yeah i think we might need a, a papagena <laughs> and we have a couple of folks that couldn't be here but we have the our, our newspaper the rampage is an award-winning student newspaper and like dr cooper was just talking about you can sign up and you sign up for journalism 11 and now you're a part of the college paper so that's the beauty of the community college is you get this chance to experience things that have always interested you, but you might not have had the opportunity. We have amazing visual arts. I know other folks have talked about it because we do have such a sense of collaboration across the college. So our visual arts help to support performances and other things. Um, but we have student art exhibits that are galleries going online this year that will be displaying student art, drawing, painting, everything is online. So we hope that whatever makes you tick, you can kind of lean into it because you probably have more time at home than you normally would. So, um, you know, do something that you enjoy and that fills your soul a little bit. Okay, so before we get to our Q&A, we wanted to give you um, just a few next steps. So obviously, we're right at the beginning of RAM Ready. So we want to encourage you to continue using all of the resources that are in RAM Ready. You've got that self-guided, um, you know, presentation that will take you through different topics and answer questions. But we also have a lot of live events that are scheduled that will really help you. So right after this one, at 11 o'clock, you've got the bookstore Q&A. And that, I mean, book are very confusing for a lot of students. So I would encourage you to join that. Um, I think at 12 o'clock, there is a student panel and yesterday's student panel was awesome. And they asked so many good questions that I thought, oh, I wish there were more students that could hear this. So definitely go to that panel. Um, and I think after that, let's see, oh, one o'clock, tutorial and library services. Do you need a laptop? Do you need a MiFi to get your internet? Um, what are the options for tutoring this year? That's really important. So um, in your email where you got the Zoom link for today's session are links to all the other live events. Tomorrow we're going live on Instagram with one of our faculty and she's just gonna answer all kinds of questions and talk about you know, taking classes online in general. So if you didn't get to ask those questions here, you know, ask them, make sure to follow us on Instagram. Um, there is a survey in Canvas and you can enter yourself for prizes. So um, we're throwing out a lot of gift cards to you guys. So make sure that you 
um, go to Canvas and see that RAM Ready Canvas page, um, you can get to it either just logging into Canvas or you can do it um, through the RAM Ready page. Um, we can't stress enough, log into your student portal every day. Make sure you're checking your student email. The weird thing about our student emails, there's a focused inbox. So there's a focused box and an other box. And a lot of the Fresno City College emails um, head over to that other box. So make sure you're looking at all of those or change that in your settings, you can turn that off. Um, you wanna make sure you're getting into Canvas every day. Now, not all the canvases are showing up yet, so don't worry about that. They'll be there on the first day of school, but you do want to get into your Canvas for all of your classes for the first day of school, because that's like showing up to class for the first day. So you wanna make sure that you're um, logging in and you're you're getting in there and, and checking the syllabus and all the things that the, the professor posted for you. Um, and lastly, you know, you're going to hear from us. We're going to be sending you stuff to your student email. So again, check that out. Um, as soon as we get that Canvas page, we're going to be enrolling you guys and we'll send out information as well. But we really want to encourage you guys to meet with a counselor no later than October. So the secret with counseling is it, we are the slowest in September. So I always tell students, if you want to get in see a counselor, no problem, talk to Fruz, talk to one of our other amazing counselors, come find us in September. And that way we're gonna do your comprehensive student education plan and you will be ready to register when priority registration rolls around because you don't wanna miss that. You wanna get first crack at all of those classes out there so you feel secure in your student schedule. Okay guys, so we are going to move on to questions and answers and we did get some and we have some prepared but you guys can go ahead and um you know raise your hand if you have a question we will get to you um let me stop sharing here we can see everybody's faces um we have uh plenty of people here that are ready to help you i'm gonna jump uh jump us off because i got a really good question um uh, so one of the students said why is it called coffee with a counselor if we don't all drink coffee? And I was like, touche, that is a great question. Um, you might have seen me drinking from this large mug. I don't drink coffee either. I have chocolate milk in here. <laughs> so you do not have to bring coffee to coffee with a counselor. Um, we couldn't call it drinks with a counselor because that has a completely different meaning. So uh, don't worry about it. This is just a time for you guys where you know that you can log in and if you have a, a quick question for our counselors you know you can reach them no advanced appointment nothing like that so to have counselors available to see you every wednesday that is huge on this campus and it's it's something that is specific for our pathway so take advantage of that so do we have any other questions let's see do, do, do. Ruse, I think we got some questions beforehand. Do you want to read any of those and see if we can answer them? Oh, make sure you unmute yourselves. I'm going, to, I'm going to ask this question and ask my colleague Evie to respond because I want all of you to get her to know him uh, by face. She's wonderful. And here we go. Um, can I change my major, a student asked. Good morning all, so happy to be here with you all. Yes, you can change your major and all you have to do is get a hold of one of the counselors available and we'll be able to help you with that. You won't be able to do it on your own. So if through the semester you decide you wanna do something else, just get a hold of us and we can do that for you. The next question is, thank you so much, but the next question that I was asked was, how do I know this is the right major for me? Well, there's several things that you can do. You can actually do a career assessment if you have some doubts, uh, see if there's other possibilities for you, but you, this is the time for you to explore. That first semester is definitely uh, a way for you to take several classes within the, the uh, uh, pathway so you can see if this is the right uh, choice for you. And if I may uh, add, please all of you try to get involved. We have the list of uh, activities that you can get involved. The more 
involvement you have, the more participation you have, the better you get to know who you really, uh, you are in, core, in your core, your abilities, your interests, your values. Uh, Mr. Dr. Cooper, would you, uh, you raise your hand? Or would you like to add something? Thank you, please. I just wanted to say, I remember being in your position, students, and at your age and being envious of people who seem to always know what they wanted to be, and then they just followed that path. And I thought, man, nothing seems like it fits like a glove. So then I just decided, okay, I'm gonna pick something that appears to be the closest and start on that path. And then uh, indeed, I happened to find confirmation like, oh, that, yeah, this is great. I love this. And the people that I'm meeting along the journey are just reinforcing the decision. But I'm sure if you talk to other people, you'd get many different answers. Um, and, and then perhaps you switch, like my wife, switch paths even more than once. But you, I think it's important that you just grab something and start rolling with it with commitment uh, first and then see what happens. Well said, thank you so much. We have um, a question from a student. Oh, and I just left it. She was asking, what is the name of the opera class and how can I sign up for it? <laughs> I love that you just asked that. So uh, opera workshop is the name of that class and I'll look up um, like the exact number while you guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> it looks good. like Rhea. Rhea also has her hand raised. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of piggyback off of Kevin. Um, when I was in college, I started a community college as well down at West Hills in Lamore. Um, and I love the idea of pathways because I bounced around in arts, communication, and language. I was a communications major, then I was in a journalism, and it was just something about, I took a poetry workshop that just clicks. This just gives me the freedom to really express what I'm feeling and thinking and processing things. So I really like that we have a pathway that kind of includes that. And I really encourage students to use that first semester, that first year to, yeah, explore that pathway and take a lot of different classes to see what might feel right. Um, and as an English 1B teacher, we're going over fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and drama. So um, along the lines of that playwriting, English 1B might be helpful. Okay. And I just posted the information for that opera workshop. So thank you, Kevin. Um, we have another question from a student. And Brooke, this one is for you. Is theater acting class easy? I mean, what do you mean by easy? My instinct is to say, uh, no, man. You're like learning how to unzip parts of your soul and present them to tell the best story possible. However, it to me, it's easier than my math classes ever were. I mean, I'd rather memorize a play than write a paper. So I think it depends on like who you are um, in terms of like what is easy versus like what is hard. So it's it's like you know you you got to pick your poison. Um, I think it's more experiential. So if you like to learn through experiences more than you like to learn from reading, not that there's no reading, not that there's no writing, but if you like to learn through experiences more than reading, then I think that it would be up your alley. I do have to say too, as someone in a, that took theater acting when I was in college, um, I learned so much that now I'm not on the stage really as much anymore. I found my love for directing, but I will tell you, I have such a great, uh, greater admiration for when I see people on stage or even when I see just movies and Hollywood and they talk about certain things in interviews and like, that's the Stanislavski method, um, or something like that. You know, you're just yeah. thinking, wow. It's just amazing, the process. And so, yeah, it, it's a class that's gonna challenge you. Um, but yeah, it's different than, than other classes. So that was an awesome question. I wanna add something to this. Uh, we have a wonderful service at Fresno City College uh, that is offered by Career and Employment Center. Career and Employment Center. If you go there, they will offer you four sessions of self-assessment. And out of that, you will learn a whole lot more about yourself. And they also help you with um, 
careers that match with your information. So uh, through experimental, experiential um, experiences, through classes, and through also uh, taking all those assessments, uh, you expedite learning about yourself and uh, the majors that you sh are more prone to uh, succeed in. Um, thank you. Thank you all for sharing your perspectives. And I know I wish I had this when I was a student as well. Um, I did not major in theater, but I was heavily involved in extracurriculars on the stage choir. I played the clarinet and the piano. So I totally get needing a creative outlet. Personally, I still need to play on the piano at least an hour a day. And you just need to do something for yourself. And if that's something that you can incorporate into your studies and your academics, you know, fantastic. So we are gonna have to wrap up in just a few, but um, what we wanna do is I'm gonna put a poll onto the screen and I would like our um, students and faculty and staff that are here today to participate. It's just two questions. So let me put that onto the screen. Okay, so the first question is what is your creative outlet? And the second question is, on a scale of one to five, five being the greatest, how excited are you to begin the new semester? I'll give, I'll give about a minute to for folks to answer. Dang. All right, just a couple more seconds. I want to give everybody a chance to answer. All right, I'm going to close it in three, two, one. All right, so let's take a look at the results here. It looks like the winner for question number one, what is your creative outlet, is creative writing. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> OK, all my creative writers out there. Um, on a scale of one to five, five being the greatest, it looks like the majority of us are at the five level. Um, and I see, um, you know, if someone answered one, I'm very happy with your honesty. And I want you to know you are supported. And so I'm going to refer back to how you can reach us. You can reach us in, in, a, in a number of ways. Um, counseling, you can reach out to your instructor. Um, Emily just shared into the chat that you can also reach out with questions if you think of any after this session at the Ram Ready, um, or excuse me, the College Relations email address, and simply put in the subject line, Ram Ready question. And if you feel you don't even know what questions to ask and you just want to send an email that says, I need help, or, you know, please help, and whatever you want to do. Uh, if you want to send a, like a little emoji of a crying person, that's fine. We will understand that. Um, so. For all of the folks that are here and were able to participate and attend, I want to thank you. Um, I really do appreciate all of you spending your morning with us. And students, this is your pathway team. You may not remember us by name, but like look at our faces and know we're here for you. <laughs> Um, and, and continue to learn more about yourselves and as you continue on with the semester and enter your first semester of college, um, please know that we are here, here for you. And if anyone else has anything else to share? Rhea had her hand up. Yes. Um, oh since creative writing went out on the poll, um, I just wanted to remind our introduced students, um, we have the Fresno City College Review and About Ourselves. So each spring, you've got creative writing, we've got stuff that you've been journaling or thinking about processing, writing in your English classes or any other classes. Um, you can submit that and have some published writing um, that you can share with others. So I'm really jazzed about that poll. That was good news. Awesome. Can I add one more thing? Of course, I just, please. I just wanted to say, um, seeing the ones, and sometimes it's you, you get anxious starting college. It's a whole new thing. Your professors are just people, you know? They will talk to you. They will share with you what you saw today with the teachers that, that shared their art with you. They're excited to talk to you and get to know their students. That's why they do this work. So don't be afraid or intimidated to reach out to your professors. That's what they're here for. And right, just professors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and just to emphasize that because we are starting the semester, we will be online for fall. There's some probably some anxiety related with that. 
but there's a lot of support for you, not only from your team, but from the campus, for, for Canvas. There's, uh, there's a student hub that'll be available to help support you and, and help you be successful in your, in your um, online classes. Our instructors all went through a training this summer to be the most effective teachers they can be online, um, just to be prepared for you this fall. So we're excited. It's not, and we know it's not, we, we would all love to be back in the classroom face to face, but we, we're doing it online and we're ready for you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna, we're gonna um, sign off so that we can let you guys get over to the bookstore um, Zoom event. If you need to know more about books, and I would, that's the best way to be prepared is make sure you have everything you need to start your classes. Thank you so much for joining us. If you know other students in our pathway, tell us to come see us at six o'clock tonight. We're going to be um, going live again at six o'clock. You can join us again as well. Um, and you know, make sure to check your email. You're gonna hear from us soon. So go get Ram ready. We'll see you soon.